All right, Coach, big day for you guys to start the East Regional. Every single uh, track athlete made it back to the next day, and you got Rugi through to Eugene. So overall, it's a pretty good day for you guys. It's a pretty good day. You know, you, uh, I don't know how many did we have compete today. I believe it was uh, six of your eight who made it through to the next round. Six of our eight made it through to the next round, and then they get an opportunity tomorrow to uh, come back and see can they make it to the final 12. And to, to cut a field into from 48 to 24 was outstanding for David. You know, he had a seasonal best there at 10 20 and a, a personal best since he's been in Carolina at 10 20, which was outstanding. And it was a, a good run uh, for um, Precious Holmes, you know, coming back, you know, uh, excited the about the, the new things happening, the commitment at Carolina. She's seen those track. things coming, and, and she's now. courageous in making Carolina a great run in her fourth the year. And then uh, Tyler as well. Tyler is a veteran, had a good run. Um, just managed the race. You know, she had the top seed coming in, and so she managed that race. So a very slow race. Uh, so she was in lane three behind everybody, so she passed everybody and calmed down and just finished trying to save energy. And so as we look, uh, uh, saw Otis. Otis got his first advancement uh, in the first round of the Nationals. You know, he was barely the last guy to get in and then cuts Taking it into the top 24, so we're excited for him. One and um, I'm thinking the next person that we had that advanced was, um, the men's 10, was Rudy, Rudy, and she went on and, and, I and popped her ticket in. Uh, last what jump, jump 21 feet. Probably she had a near and foul that was the we'll best jump of the meet, which uh, the start, we'll uh, do we, we were glad she's saving that for the NCAA championship, so when we get to Oregon, we want her to hit that one because that was a fantastic jump somewhere oh, well over 22 feet. And so we're looking uh, encouraged by her coming through at that point. Uh, and just excited. Our kids are, are fighting her, but uh, uh, sorry for uh, our senior who didn't make it through the hammer. Clarence, uh, he gave it his all. Every throw was to, to make, the, to win it, you know, and uh, and uh, we're excited that he got here, and, and I know he felt the pressure okay, to try to come through for his university Hammer, and, as a thrower. And so we're excited he gave it that effort. Jan, his first time here, uh, the magnitude uh, of the Kelly NCAA Princeton, championships, I think, got to him a little bit. He ended up number 14, uh, a couple, couple jumps yet. where he didn't touch the board. And so that's those are things and that happened to you on first time but we're excited. There, we've got what uh, what do you say to your Virginia kids tomorrow who come back that were that qualified for quarterfinals but are outside of the top 12 where it's uh, Ryan, I believe, in 13th and Precious at 15th, Tyler and David, I know both outside of the top 12. What, uh, what adjustments do you make and what do you say to them so that they can be a little bit faster tomorrow and punch that ticket right you do? Uh, the big thing is uh, knowing where you are and running your best that's that's all you can do best and the best effort you can give that's that's what our kids are giving is a great effort you know our preparation trust your preparation trust the process and give your best effort and you know you may come out 12th but you can only come out what your best effort gives you less than your best even if you come out number two or one um, you can't be satisfied with less than your best effort so that's our big thing tonight is it's uh, tune ourselves to a good night's nice rest, get a great massage, get up and get a shake out to get your blood flowing uh, at least four hours prior to the time you come over. And those kind of things, do the things that we know that work, follow the process. And that's what we tell them and that's what they follow. And hey, we're headed back to, to Eugene, Oregon. There you go, thank you coach. Thank you.